This is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on having more focus, confidence, the ability to effectively deal with distractions when competing for consistent, high performance. Today's topic is the reasons athletes don't reach their goals. If you find that strength, speed, endurance are the foundation for your training program, then it's focus, confidence, your mental game that is the cement holding it all together through the toughest moments. And it's really about understanding what your big why is. That deep down burning desire that you have, the motivation, what it is that keeps you going even through the toughest moments of your training program and in the competition. What I found is when working with my clients, sometimes they know their big why, other times they really don't know it as clearly as they could. But really connecting with it makes all the difference. It just amps you up to another level. Now, if there's obstacles that are in the way of your goals, then you have three choices when you're facing and bumping up against those obstacles. Let's look at what those three choices are for you. The first one is acceptance. You know, if you have some obstacles, but you're really not willing to make any changes one way or the other in your life, you feel like it's balancing and working for you, then just accept things as they are. Stop trying to make everybody happy, trying to fit it all in because sometimes you just can't do that. There's not enough to go around. So acceptance is one of the options when you realize that maybe there's some blocks interfering with your goals. After that, the other option is modify. Now, if you come become aware of some goals and that there's an obstacle, you can look at it and you can look at how to change it. How can you make some modifications? Maybe it's a modification up or it's a modification down. Either way is okay as long as it's one that really feels right for you and is really serving your purpose. So modifying up would be looking at some opposing obstacles, some resistance, and how can you really work through them or get rid of them or change them. Um, it might be some belief that's getting in the way of how you want to be and causing some inner conflict for you. The other thing is that maybe a goal just isn't really the right goal for you with where your life is now and that you need to make some changes in order to have more balance in your life and that's okay as well. So usually the obstacles is some type of belief. It's about a life change that you need to look at or it could be about trying to do too much and making everybody happy where you're spreading yourself too thin. Any changes that you make that's going to help you to realign with your goals or to modify your goals is the right one to make. I fully trust you on that one. Next is delete. Now, say that you have your goal and you really feel clear about it, but you have some people that can't support you in the way that you need to. You need to be able to delete them. You need to just be able to put that relationship on a timeout while you're really focused on your goals and what is the most important thing to you right now. Or it might be that some of the things that are expected of you aren't working for you in the way that they're planned out. So you need to be able to make some changes to move forward. And it's okay to say no sometimes. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that as long as you're doing it for the right reasons and you have a clear purpose. Now, when you come across these obstacles, what I sometimes find with my clients is they don't always know why it's happening, but they feel that resistance. That's where we use the emotional freedom techniques to help remove that clarity, kind of like melt it all away so they can align with their purpose and move forward once again. Now, the emotional freedom techniques is a little bit weird, but just follow me along, be open to something new because it does work. What I'd like you to think is about some resistance, challenge, obstacle that you're facing right now with your goals as well. And think about it, get really clear and specific on what that is. When you're thinking about it, what emotion comes up for you? Give it an emotional intensity now from zero to 10 with zero being absolutely nothing whatsoever and 10 being really, really intense. Do you feel that in your body anywhere? And what does that feel like? Great, now that you have your obstacle, let's go ahead and begin tapping. We start on the side of our hands called the karate chop point. It's that point between your pinky and your wrist. You tap with about the same pressure as if you were drumming your fingers on a tabletop. And repeat out loud after me. Even though I have my goals, I'm really committed to my goals, but I feel some resistance, something that's just holding me back. 
and I'm not quite sure what it is. But I want to be able to see it for what it is so I can move forward. I deeply love and accept all parts of myself. I'm open to getting honest with myself so I can connect with my big why. Let's go ahead and tap above our eyebrows. I feel some resistance about reaching my goals. Go to the side of your eyes. I feel an obstacle, something that's getting in the way of me being fully committed to my goals. Under your eyes, on your cheekbones. I know I, I say I want to reach my goals, but I also admit I'm holding myself back a little bit. There's more that I could be doing. One hand on your nose. Boy, sometimes it's hard being honest with myself. Under your lips. I'm a little bit upset that I've been holding back on myself. I'm not quite sure why, but I want to make a change. Collarbone. Getting honest with myself is tough work. I didn't realize what the resistance was about but I'm open to looking at it now, under your arms. I feel like there's a conflict, like I'm being pulled in two directions and that I haven't made a decision yet. Top of your head. I choose to look at my goals clearly, connect with my vision, get really honest with myself and take one action step to move closer to my goals. Go to your eyebrows. Let's do some positive tapping statements now. I'm ready to connect with my vision and deepen my commitment. Go to the side of your eyes. I choose to do one thing now to help me move the needle a little bit closer to my goals. Under your eyes. I'm ready to take, make a deeper commitment because I know what I want and it's really important to me. One hand on your nose. There are some conflicting values. I feel pulled in two directions and it's time to look at it and make some changes to release the resistance under your lips. I'm ready to understand my big why. The reason that I'm driven to excel and that I love, I just love my sport, collarbone. I love pushing myself, seeing how far I can go, and I'm willing to step it up a notch under your arms. I'm willing to take on one more thing that I know it'll help, but I haven't done yet but I'm willing to do it in a net. I'm willing to do it now. Top of your head. I'm making a deeper commitment. I love knowing my big why. It feels really good to reconnect to it, to my vision and my goal. Bring it on. Go ahead and stop tapping. Take a deep breath in and release. Now just check in with yourself. See if that emotional intensity shifted in any way. Up, down, either way is good. If you felt it in your body before, do you still feel it in the same place or did that move or maybe even go away? If you have any remaining emotional intensity, go through the tapping with me once more, getting even more specific on what your obstacle or resistance to your goal might be. Now that you've done that, I want you to really get clear on what is one thing that you can challenge yourself on over the next 30 days. I want you to pick one thing and I want you to take on a challenge. Get committed to it, make the plan, and get started. Because just doing that one thing is going to move the dial a little bit closer to where you want to go with your big goal, that reason why, and turning that vision into a reality. What I would like you to do as far as my challenge to you also is with this 30-day challenge, become aware of your big why. What's that driving force? What is it that you love about being an athlete and about your sport? Now think about all the things that 
are important to you about it. Write them down, become really, really clear about why this is so important to you. And if there's one thing that you could be doing right now that's going to make a shift in the right direction and you're ready to take it on, write it down, go ahead and post it here below, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what your commitment is that you're taking on for your 30 day challenge. Post the comment. If you put it out to the community, you're more likely to follow through. It'll increase your success rate. Please post a comment, whether it's your challenge, what you took away from this training video. I'd love to hear from you. I read all of them and I respond to them as much as possible. If you're interested in the seven mistakes even the best athletes make, go to my website, expertsportsperformance.com. Put your name, email address in the upper right hand corner. You'll get that special report immediately. I look forward to hearing from you. Please, once again, post that comment. I want to hear from you and how things are going for you too. Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com. More focus, more wins.